tweet some shit about you, but when I see you, I can't say it to your face. They're all like that. They're all like that. You know, it's easy, it's easy to, to be here at home. Blah, 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 blah. But when you meet me, you don't have those balls. But that's what I'm saying. Now, mm. how do we distinguish what's the real? What's real now? Is it when I see you or is it my, how I feel on social media? You know what I mean? Greetings, all massive and crew. Ghetto youths, bashment youths, Bobo youths, Bobo Ashanti, Naya Bingi youths, Amini and Rashid K, no blood clad boy, them done know. You see me? Sure. You know what time it is. <laughs> Back at it like crack addicts. <laughs> <laughs> Episode We're 115. Yeah, yeah, 115. We're out here, man. Oh, man. Good to be back. You nice? Good to be back. Yeah, I'm nice. I'm twice as nice on mic device. What up, man? If you don't yeah. know who it is, it's OG Samke, Rashid K, H N I C. The Back Beast Rand God. The Beast Rand God. Back at it, my boy. You know, hip hop yeah. is what we love to do. Rap is what we do. Hip hop is what we live, right? For sure. That's for sure. What you saying, man? How's your hip hop weeks been? <laughs> you've been in, you've been in the spaces. Yeah, I've been like me. I'm hip hop every day, man. Every day <laughs> to this day, you know. So yeah, it's it's always been uh, for the past two three weeks. Events, music, talk, talk, talk. This and that. Yeah, I've been I've been outside. Big shout out to the homies, LinkedIn friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we were out at the well last week or this week. What yeah, I, the Sunday. Last Sunday, last yeah, Sunday. Yeah, man, we were out there for the 10k challenge, the final. Yeah, the finals. White House, Midlands. Shout out, man. Shout mm. out to all the rappers that came through. The, the last episode, uh, I think it was one one twelve or one thirteen. Yeah, I was shitting on niggas for not pulling up when yeah. they're supposed to. Um, when they booked, you know, and you can win 10k, and yeah. then you decide with that. Yeah, fuck it, I'm not coming. Right, but this time, I think everybody was there in terms of the people that were supposed to be there. Yeah, the rappers pulled up. They pulled up. They pulled I know. Up. I know. The final was was pro pro protect protect and leader strat and and leader one leader took took that ten k. I felt a bit bad though for protect though. Yo, eh. <laughs> <laughs> why? Because after he lost, he came straight to me. He was like, yo, Duana, man, you really can't see that shit in live, boy. But he wasn't even because 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 the EFT was gonna be done the following day. He wasn't gonna get that money anyway. No, but he's more like, how can I go back to the hood and tell niggas that I lost? I lost. <laughs> ah, it happens, man. It happens. Man. I like that though. Like I don't. I think as a rapper, you should yeah. never be like just okay with being second place, dog. Yeah. No. No. You, know? you shouldn't be. Like hip hop is a competitive sport. That's why that's why we brag about charts. Like I'm number one. Yo, look at my streams. Look at my this and that. That's why we even end up. That's why we have battling. There's no battling in other genres. Like yeah. to say, yo, let's go head to head. You know. Word. Yeah. Let's talk. Let's talk a little bit about that event and about the the you know the lead up to that and battle rap quickly. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The standard of battle rap in South Africa. Ah, it's gone down, chief. It's not the same anymore, man. And what the fuck happened? I think, I think, like, a lot of people, because we don't have new kids battling. Yeah. They're not into battle culture. Youngins. Because, yeah, yeah youngins. We still have same people from Scrambles for Money, Hip Hop 111, 411. 411, yeah. You, you know, we still have, you see the same faces. You don't have new kids like 19 year olds like in bram you see the cool kids in bram. you don't see th there's no battle rappers there Damn, you know that's the, the, the kids want to trap and mumble you know and that's the that's the part of the culture that is getting lost why do you think that is though do you think maybe it's just boring maybe like niggas don't care about i think i think battle rap no more the niggas who've been battling still care but you can't you can't like it's 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 like dancing. You can't be like thirty, thirty five and still trying to jump <laughs> on stage and you know, you get to a point where like I right, know I'm over this shit. True. You know. True. But they there needs to be like a new phase of 
like the the new generation Battle taking culture. over. You, you know what I mean? Mm. Taking over like like with everything else. That's crazy. Then what do we do? Do we just let it die? Because this is not only a South African thing. Yeah. Even internationally, even the, in the US, the battle rappers are complaining. The guys who are prominent yeah. are complaining that there's no like there's zero cash. I think it rap. needs it needs mainstream niggas who have a following to come through like Drake did. Mm. Put his money, say I'm 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 sponsoring this battle league. Yeah. I'm gonna come during the the battles and be the face of of people are gonna come knowing that Drake is gonna be there. Yeah. You know, you know that Aries is gonna be there and Jay Jody and them. You know, you're gonna attend the event. So, I just I just hope that more mainstream niggas get involved with with with, with battle leagues. Would you like to see it back? Because I mean, it's not like I'd like that's it's not that, like we that's, miss it. You know what that, I mean? That's one entertaining part part of the culture. You yeah. know, I love battles. Like Me too, King. I've been attending like battle raps. Yeah, mm. no, I'm just I'm I'm touched that because I saw it over this past the LinkedIn friends and 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 the the 10k challenge we did. Yeah, in, at Kitchener's and the one from from Sunday is like. Mm. Shit, I don't know if people really care about this. Even when people were watching the final, Isola, yeah. it was like, ah, it's not that one. No, like, I think they, the, the battle rappers should take it serious before people can take it serious. Um, there's, one, there's one kid who was supposed to battle, he didn't. Mm. He came late. I think he's on drugs or some shit because he was, <laughs> who was, yeah, he looked like he was, he was dirty, dro- <laughs> drooling, like what? Yeah, like nigga was he, drooling. Yeah, he wasn't making any sense. Like you could see, like he's high as fuck, you know. And he came after the whole thing. Shit. Like, uh, you, you, you see, it, it, he's not gonna go anywhere if he doesn't take himself serious. Which is most the case with most battle rappers yeah really. like not they, not battle rappers anyone who doesn't take his craft serious he's not gonna go anyway i wanna move you might yeah. be dope but like your talent can only take you so far you know what i mean like the work has to be put in yeah you gotta take this thing like a job you know like your nine to whatever five, you, you do it. you must like focus and take it serious because whatever you're doing as a hobby someone else is getting paid for it true true Mm. all right battle rappers please man we need to see more of you guys dog maybe we should nah but uh the guys do it already uh four and one and all these guys yeah we don't need to do a battle rap situation uh, battle but rap i do want to see the culture come back okay? yeah i do want to see homies we'll support rap. any battle league that, that's out there we if might it's have sponsor something if, who knows yeah if it's happening we'll, we might pull up and endorse it you if you're know. a battle rapper Please hit us in the comment section. We wanna, we I'd love to see what niggas is up to, cause I even see with the with the niggas don't even dig deep anymore with the research. Now I, all I need is your name. Yeah. And then I can just diss you about your name, or mm. if you're fat, or if you, you know what I mean. But I can't like niggas used to go, you know, raid yeah. deep, like find out who your mama is, your uncle, your, you know, come talk, yeah, tell you about a your lot life, of research, find out your ex girlfriend, you maybe even go smash your ex girlfriend. And the performance, there's a um for ten k, there was a. A cat called Concussion 101. Yeah. He won 10k. That nigga is so him, dope. That nigga him. is so him. dope. But his looks are deceiving. So yeah. Because he came tucked in in a sport. I thought he was a Kasi <laughs> rapper. He looks like a pantula. But the vocab. The crazy, Shakespearean right? English that comes out of his mouth. The, 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 the rhymes. The patterns. The vocab. Yeah, the he flow. Beat, uh, yeah, that he cat beat, is. He be trusted, ne? Cause tr- yeah, was, yeah, yeah. He beat everyone who performed. But yo, also you guys ended up splitting the money and like. No, no, it's it's, 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 each. it's 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 only only with the FMCs. Oh. Oh, it's only the FMCs that split the money because it was five of them and they agreed. We spoke to them before. They agreed it was five of them, and instead of giving one person ten k, we gave them two k each. Sure. You know, and everybody went home happy. Yeah, I guess. I see niggas already spending some of that dollar anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and you had it in cash. Hey, yo, <laughs> so I was going to come for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, anyway, um, elephant in the room, you know. Ah, that's old news, nigga. <laughs> nah, it's not old news. It's man. old news, nigga. I have a, the master, class, the, the, the master the, class ain't heard the, from you. The beast rent tape even came out after that. I actually heard the piece and tape. Yeah. I like the, the volume three is quite crazy. Volume three, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's getting better and better and better in terms yeah. of 
the the amount of work niggas are putting in to each song. Yeah, no, it's crazy. They take it serious now. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. How are you feeling though after your disjoint? It's not even a disjoint. Nobody Come got this. That's a disjoint, dog. That's no. a long distract. No. Hmm? No. I, it's not it's not a disjoint. It's just that hey people got too excited. It, that was not a disjoint. It was like in addressing the situation, not even dissing a person, you know, and I didn't even mention a person, you know, it's 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 nice for people to assume, oh, you're dissing so and so, it's a so and so diss. But, but you did mention, yeah, you didn't mention, never, your, not your video, a, the video. Yeah. Shout out on the video though, I won't lie, that shit was hilarious. <laughs> 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 who played? Who played? Who played? Stop <laughs> <laughs> No man, you want to put my boy in danger. <laughs> It's an actor who acted yeah. the part. You you conceptualized that that that, that video. Yeah, <laughs> you fucking crazy. Dog. <laughs> I'm a creative dog. Yeah, <laughs> nigga doing push ups <laughs> next to that boy. <laughs> now, but shout out to you. Like what what it made me realize, right? Mm-hmm. Is that now there like there's a lot of value in in people hating your music than there is in people loving it. Your music. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm. This this the song that you dropped yeah. most likely could be numbers wise probably your biggest song ever. The thing is, people people can like the song and don't comment on it. Yeah. If you hate the song, you're gonna feel the need to say to say something to say something or to go listen to it. Oh yeah, you're not gonna comment before listening to it, you know. And and I think people love controversy, man. We live for controversy. You know, because I never posted that video. You know that mm-hmm. I posted a link no, on really. Facebook, and people went to download the videos. Dog, they, they posted watched it. They, they, yeah, they posted their the, own the, the little video, clips. They, they, yeah, their own little clips and their own captions, and the video went viral, and all the views in total they exceeded a million in a day. A million views in a day. Two million impressions in a day <laughs> <laughs> because of other people. I'm like, you guys, you, you guys, guys love controversy. Up. You know, on no. that day, you know, on that day, there were other drops. Yeah, that were overshadowed. There nobody were lots paid. of drops that Friday. Yeah, dog. but nobody. But the whole weekend. Yes, nobody, nobody paid attention. People the whole week they were talking about that joint. Whether you like it or you hate it, you were talking about it. That could be like a formula in terms of how you can drop your music in South Africa now because I feel like sometimes when you when you work hard, right, and you put together a project that's like beautiful, my dog, and you speak about who you are and where you come from, let's say it's like your debut drop. Yeah. And you, you put money into the marketing and you promo this shit, you promo this shit, but it's not going to sell as hard as when you make a song like that. And yeah. I'm trying to think, okay, then should we still be making these fucking projects when we can just make music that people can hate on the, but they're going to watch it and that pays money to the artist. I don't know, man. I mean, w- what I did had a, a backstory. It was not a stunt to get numbers because yeah, I'm yeah. not even trying to push anything. You know, it, was, it, was, it, ha- it had a backstory back to back until I decided to, to do a song, you know. But I think people will see through it. Like, ah, this guy wants attention. This guy doesn't have a problem with this guy. He's just chasing the clout. Yeah. Because people can see what's authentic, what's fake. Yeah, now and you could you could pretty much, you know, yeah. put it in both brackets, really. Because you, like you're saying, there's no intention behind it. Yeah. But the numbers went crazy. Yeah, the, the numbers were, I didn't even expect that. I didn't even expect that. What What do you What do you What's your take in in the value of ha- having haters? Haters, haters, the good thing about haters, they monitor your every move. Because they want something to say. You drop the song, they check it out. Ah, trash. Okay. Th- thank you for streaming. But that's what I'm saying. So <laughs> secretly, like even yeah. the people that, that went on other platforms and spoke shit about the song or, mm. you know, speak shit about you in general. Like, I wouldn't even call them haters anymore because if, if, if you're my hater, yeah. but you're watching everything that I do, you kind of love me, dog. You kind of right? love you me. You kind of yeah. fuck with my shit. And, and the thing is, what I can tell you, the internet is not real. Word. The internet is not real. After that song dropped, 
I've been to like five, six events, live events. Not even a single comment. Like, yo, OG, yo, I fucks with that track. And then come, people come take pictures. I'm like, where's the internet hate? Where the niggas are, <laughs> the, 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 you know, the, that's why the even leaders on, into leaders. Yes, that's why, that's why on that song, there's a line that says, you internet niggas never say shit when I'm around you. No, hard facts. I think yeah. that happens to all of us. You know what I'm saying? So, so you, must, you must never let the negative comments on the internet distract you. But then that's what I'm saying to you. Then wouldn't it? Because you're saying the internet is not real, right? It's not real. But then, but then okay, sharp. They push the numbers. Yes, but, yeah. now, but, but that's what I mean. It's like, mm. okay, if, if the same person who wrote shit about or commented on the video, yeah. right? when they see you in person, mm-hmm. they don't say what they said. So wouldn't... They say the opposite. But then wouldn't you say face value then is not real? Because like, how can I go tweet some shit about you? But when I see you, I can't say it to your face. They're all like that. They're all like that. You know, it's easy, it's easy to, to be here at home. Da, 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 da. But when you meet me, you don't have those balls. But that's what I'm saying. Now, mm. how do we distinguish what's the real? What's real now? Is it when I see you or is it my, how I feel on social media? You know what I mean? Wh- whatever it is, you know, if... if if you meet me and you can't, you can't say what you said online, then you're a bitch ass nigga, you know? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. It's, yeah. just, it's hard to distinguish nowadays if, mm. if, if what you said about me on Twitter, but you can't say it to my face, is that how you feel or is this how you feel? Or you only, is face value you being fake to me now? The thing is, the thing is when, when you're online, you, you, you say... Fuck Rashid. Yeah. But it's, it's, highly, him, it's highly likely that you're going to get an engagement. A thousand likes, a thousand retweets. But when I'm talking to you man to man at face value, I'm here. You're going you're gonna to get a comment from me. Yeah. A like or a dislike from me, like live. So, so for you, that's so, more so real. People, so people, when they meet me, they, they, they check themselves. Because you, you can't fool the internet people. I hear you. I just feel like, like sometimes I feel those are the fake ass niggas. You know what I mean? Like, mm. you can't be able to say some shit about me, but when you see me, you are like completely different. That's what I feel like is fake. That's why sometimes I feel like the internet might be mm. how someone really feels about even my music. Let's say I drop music, yeah, and everybody on the internet loves it, but when I go out and I perform, there's nobody there's a, yeah, there. Yeah, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. People yeah. don't pull up. You know, so I feel like mm. sometimes internet can be real in that sense. Is that okay? People want to say what they really feel on social media. And mm-hmm. then when they see you in person, that's when... There's too much fake shit going on, is what I'm saying. Yeah, to. that's why I'm, I'm saying you, you, you can't use anything from the internet as a benchmark. You can't say, I have one million followers. If I do it in an event, I'm going to make a killing because they're all going to pull up. No, mm. we've seen that, you know. When, 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 when we do events, we pack up, we pack up venues, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, but then, then you wonder where are all these people coming from, and yeah. then you find a nigga with with one million followers can't even can't, pack up Zone Six or M Studios or M Studios. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can't do shit, but like they're getting millions of views, and yeah. with us it's like the complete. I see it when we do something like when we do the Soweto thing we did mm. on Sunday. It's like there's so many people there, but when you check out the the channel, as much as we've done so many. Um, so many hundred over hundred episodes. Mm. The numbers online don't reflect what happens when you're actually outside. Yeah, you know Just what wild. I mean. So, hey man, it's it, it's like that. It is what it is. We have to deal with it. We'll decipher it one day. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Anything caught your eye uh, this week? New music. Um. For the few couple of weeks, music has been coming out, it has. and Niggas have been dropping. you know, we still we still got to review your P dot and oh, yeah. other projects yeah. that came out, you know. So yeah, I see hip hop is active every every Friday. There's a drop. I see we've got a, a number one again. Finally, it's been a while since we had a billboard number one. Yeah, Blue Lips, Schoolboy Q. Schoolboy Q. That's crazy, man. Is mm. that like a sign that niggas are listening to rap again? Yeah, niggas, niggas are listening to rap again. Over the bubblegum shit? Over the bubblegum shit. From, you know, like when you see niggas like Killer Mike 
taking a Grammy, mm. taking a double XL artist of the year, taking this and that. You know, you can tell now that people are listening. You know, Word. people are listening. Like you, you, you can fool some people for some time, but you can't fool all the people all the time. So, so if I'm in studio right now trying to drop something, maybe in like, you know, winter, where should my mind mindset be in terms of the kind of music I'm dropping? If we see rap internationally moving now in terms of people listening to it and winning awards and shit like that, yeah. If I'm in Mzansi, should I be making hard rap music or should I be like still trying to? Get on the charts. Hey Amen. Um, I think you should you should just do you. Eventually, people will resonate with what you're trying to portray. Look at Pretty Ugly now, of uh, the Dust album. You know he's been. It's a trilogy. Dropped up, the soil, the mud, the dust, and a lot of people are only catching up now. So it, it's very important to. To stick to your guns and do stick you stick it through, yeah. But it's very tough in our climate because, like, um, I saw who's who's this chick? Is it Saweedy or someone? One of these 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 uh, pussy rap chicks. Um, she was so much. She hasn't dropped music in, in like three, four years. Yeah, mm, yeah. Was it her? Yeah. Was it Saweedy? Yeah, Saweedy. Yeah. And then her comment was that nobody gives a fuck about her music. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, then the gimmicks are working then. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like if you if you have a gimmick like a Saweetie, like a ice 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 spice, you mm -hmm, know, shaking mm -hmm. your ass and shit might be the way forward because I don't and I've been saying this for a long time from like episode hundred that I don't see the importance of making like music anymore. I think the gimmick is more important than the actual music, hip hop wise. I think I think it, it depends where where you looking added from because i think everything has has a has a niche market you know there could be some music i, I don't listen to like let's say i don't listen to cardi b yeah but she 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 gets billions of streams it means there's a market for that you know um and that there's some shit that i listen to and other people don't listen to i think we we need to have a variety, you know, to choose from. Imagine if everyone was doing gimmicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, dog. That wouldn't work out. You I know what I mean? We need a bit of everything. We need a bit we of everything. We need our battle cats. We need yeah. our rappers. We need the gimmicks. We need the fame series. Yeah, because even you as a person, at some point, you feel like, hey, I want to listen to Drake. You know, sometimes we feel like, hey, I want to listen to Onyx. Mm. Some raw ragged. But... You know, it's different times and different moods. You can't you can't be driving and playing some ragged music and you know there's there's a music to play in your car, in your living room, in a club, when you're chilling with your friends, drinking, you know, you can't you can't listen to the same thing everywhere. Yeah, we can't all sound the same. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess then do you then. You yeah. Know, if you a bubblegum dude, bubblegum it out. If you a hardcore rapper rap my dog and hopefully it will catch on as well it will it will look at look at griselda they they the west side gun and um benny the butcher they they stuck to bars and it's working for them you yeah, know yeah, they yeah, didn't want to be like hey i want to harmonize this song no they, they they stuck to rap bars and until they were noticed now they got gold plaques that's crazy man mm. that's crazy good advice though i feel like if you're a student out there just do you, my king. And yeah. hopefully this shit's going to work out. The only thing I don't like, I, I, I'm not a guy to like live on hope. You know, I like to yeah. live on shit that actually is going to move. Like I know if I do this, I'm going to get this. But if with music, like you never fucking come up. You could make a song. To, I could drop a song tomorrow and become like one of the best in the country yeah. tomorrow. But it's, it's a hope thing. And I, I don't live on hope, but stick to your guns then, niggas. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take that. And keep dropping. Guys. Something will catch on. Yeah, you might have still done a mask. We'll studio, catch some fire. Day. Catch some fire. Spend like five years without a hit and then all of a sudden, overnight, you're the biggest artist in the country. That shit can happen to you. It can happen, yeah. Word up, man. Ah, nah. Shout out to everyone dropping new music. Um, yeah, that's all I want. Blue Lips, I'm happy about it. I like the album. I think it's quite dope to hear niggas rap, rap, rap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Nothing caught your eye, your eye this week? 
Uh, no one did some crazy shit. No? Nah, nah, not yet. Except the stuff that we already mentioned. Ah, uh, nothing else. Well, right, let's get into class then, bro. Let's get into class. Hit the bell there, please. Why you it thing now? Uh, it's Nkuli and Trippy. <laughs> Shout out Nkuli and mm. Trippy, dog. Mm. Word up, man. What were you talking? What's on your mind? Um, yeah, man. I had this thing after all this, the Grammys, the um, the Oscars. Like my 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 question was like, what will it take for SA hip hop to crack the international market? We have we have the Tylers and the doing big things. We have other genres are doing big <laughs> things internationally. Right. What will it take for SA hip hop to crack to the international there, market? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, because like you're saying, we've never really seen one of our own get into. Like we were happy just to see. Wustogi and Questa and them on, on Sway. You on know? Sway, like, yeah, yeah. That's a huge thing. But now, yeah. when, when are we going to get to the level where our albums are competing with Jay Z and Drake mm. and, you know, J. Cole dropped the freestyle? When are we going to have a, like niggas internationally going crazy over a freestyle that's dropped in South Africa? You know, and I, yeah. and I won't lie to you, I don't know if I have the answer to it. I think there's, there's a lot of formulas yeah. to it, but. I, I feel like the most important thing is if we look at like a Tyler, right? Yeah, yeah. Even with her, I don't think Water like Water is a good song, but it's not like fucking amazing, right? It's 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 well marketed yes. internationally. So that's where we need you, to start you know, then. The marketing. And did you see the the chat between Rick Ross and Nasty C? I didn't actually open the volume, I just saw them talking about yeah, it. Yeah. So he asked, he asked them to, to, to name three rappers that he would like to collaborate with. I think Rick Ross is going to make it happen. He also wants to do a song with, with Nasty C. They also chose three of their favorite African rappers. And yeah. What were they doing there? What was that? Was it like they a, were just chatting. They were, they were talking. So what, Nasty went live and then Ricky joined? I don't know who went live first because I the clip that I saw, it was, I don't know when was it recorded mm. you know so yeah but they were they, they were chatting about about the music you know so i hope i hope rick ross ma- makes it happen for nasty you know because he still needs that international break everybody does i don't think we, we don't have yeah. anyone no i'm saying i'm saying nasty tried you know he's been trying still doing it I think. Yeah, yeah trying to penetrate the american market I hope this time it happens with, 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 with Rick Ross on the mix. Yeah, I want to see like a Nasty C being nominated for Best Rap for like a Grammy or some shit, you know? But I don't know when are we going to get to that level because first of all, I don't think the big labels take care of our artists. You know what I mean? If anything, a lot of, a lot of the reason why we're not getting these niggas out, I mean, we have a whole Def Jam, yeah. right? Shouldn't by now, Def Jam's been around for what? Over five years, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't by now, shouldn't we have someone or two or three artists that are internationally recognized, you know, like a Rick Ross, but... But I don't think... Def Jam Africa is not Def Jam, Def Jam. (laughs) What do you mean? I mean, when you go to Def Jam website and Uh check the artist. Okay. Yeah, you you don't see the artists that are... With Def Jam Africa, you, you, you can see the artists that are signed direct. Nasty C is there, okay, because okay. he's signed direct to Def, Def Jam, Jam, not Def Jam Africa. Africa. Yeah, Def Jam Africa is just a hip hop, a hip hop wing of Universal. It's, yes, yes, yeah, yes, it's yes, Universal. Yes. And I don't know if it's doing much for our artists here in our country. Def Jam Africa. But Def Jam Africa, it's that's why it's, that's why I love when you say yeah, it's that's not, what, it's not Def Jam, Def Jam. It's not. It's not. Yeah, it's not. Like we 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 know Def Jam to be the plug, you know. Yeah. In terms of putting hip hop, like especially Def Jam Africa should be like QC in the states. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we should have artists that are moving around because we have an the entity right it's, it's the same people. It's the same people who are handling hip hop at Universal. It's the same personnel, you know. So you're not gonna change the name and expect miracles to happen when you have the same people doing the same thing they've been doing. But then now, uh, don't we blame Def Jam, Def Jam for that? I'm because not blaming. I'm not blaming Def Jam, Def Jam, because I know that this thing is not Def Jam, Def Jam. 
Yeah, but like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but Def Jam, Def Jam, both Def, <laughs> <laughs> both Def Jam's Africa <laughs> to Africa, right? Yeah. So why are they not taking care of it? Like, it's like they put it into, they just made it a wing and part of Universal and then they I forgot think it's, about it's, it. It's, Def Jam was, was distributed by Universal in South Africa and in Africa. Sharp. So it was just a name change to say, okay, you guys are going to focus on hip hop. Uh, you, I don't know who came up with that idea, but we're going to call this Def Jam Africa. But it's the same. That's why I'm saying it's the same formula. It's the same people that were working for Universal. Name change is not going to make miracles happen. Yes, yes. I, I hear what you're saying, and that is the biggest problem. Yeah. What I'm saying is let's not blame our niggas for it. I'm not blaming it's, it's, anyone. It's not I'm, our shit. I'm not blaming anyone. I'm looking for a solution for SA Hip Hop to crack it in the international market. And the label is not the way you're saying? I think it's more management than labels, you know? Over the marketing? Or I guess it goes uh, together. Yeah, yeah, with the, yeah. You see, people like the Black Coffees, the Shimzas, they have managers internationally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, who yeah. get them gigs. I've seen that. Even Bo, yeah. Bo, you find it. Ibiza, you know. Las Vegas. They they have management overseas, not labels. Yeah, not you, and it's not the same manager. Uh, it's, yeah. yeah, it's not the same. They have a, a, a local manager does um, local bookings, and they have even on their on their info details, international bookings, blah 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 information for South African bookings. Blah 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 information, you know. So it's 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 the management and that's that does the marketing and push these niggas overseas. It's not the record labels. So then why is that not happening with SA Hip Hop, man? Like, if if like you're saying, if we can have Coffee live like that, and the reason why Coffee is big is because he's marketed really well. Yeah, and that's because he's not using South African personnel to market himself in Ibiza. Yeah, but are we are we signing up with these agencies, with these artist management houses that are international, that are in Europe, America? The question are is, we, yeah, most of the time, artists can't because most of them, they sign three sixties. That's why it's very difficult to do that when you're under a label because they handle your publishing distribution. It's a three sixty. They yeah. they handle everything. If I'm gonna come on the side and say, yo, um. Nasty, I'd like to manage you, and the label is gonna it's gonna be a problem when when I come and take an artist that sign and manage him and take him to all these places and make all this money and mm. you know. Do you think also like the artists don't work hard enough, you know, outside of their contracts? Yeah. For these international people to recognize them, you know. So essentially, what I'm saying is. Mm. Niggas is whack, is what I'm saying, and nobody overseas gives a fuck. No, it's not even about that. I think it's lack of knowledge and lack of, of information. Most artists are just a bunch of talent who have no business knowledge. They don't know where to go. Like, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna tour Europe, but who do I contact? Where do I go? Oh, where do I start? You, you know, it's it's it's. It's that, you know, that's why you always need a team, strategize, take people out to, to, to network, even let them go to, let them attend the Grammys just to network. Yeah. Let them, yeah, let them go to Ibiza, you know, to get some contacts. But we don't do that. We don't do that. We get comfortable. We happy. Yeah. We, we, performing we, at Conca. Yeah. In uh, yep, yep. And <laughs> like those are... If I get yeah. that 10k for the night, like I'm happy, which is crazy for me. Yeah. Because there's no, there's, it's a lack of ambition, right? That I see mm. here that I feel like internationally, why they don't get recognized is because they're not putting themselves out there like that. You know? Mm. Um, you but can all have, in like, all, all in all. For instance, sorry, sorry to cut you. Yeah. Right? For instance, an artist like, like Bass, right? Mm -hmm. He comes to South Africa all the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he'll come here, he'll see one or two dope artist then he'll go back to, to to the states but i don't think he goes back there and like talks about niggas from here it's like ah oh, no i was in south africa there's some really no cool but, kids I, with, think, but I think i like, think it, it helps why you think why you think um black is touring with bus yeah i saw like, that I saw 25 shows in the states yeah even that u-turn song is fire i like that yeah yeah you see like 
25 shows in the states that that's that's a big achievement you know and it wouldn't happen if Buzz was was not frequent was not frequenting South Africa like that so he knows he knows who's hot who's what because he's always here okay okay i hear that 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 argument right is mm -hmm. that it does help when these guys come to South when black when uh, rose is on a live with with nasty right mm -hmm. but why is it that we can't have a song by the Quellas go viral all over the world? Is it because the music is not relatable but, but worldwide? Who's, no, but who's creating awareness? It, it, it doesn't get there automatically. But it, I mean, the world is small now. We're in an internet world, right? So yeah. if I, I can, like I'm saying, I can put out a clip tomorrow mm. and this thing can be all over the world. There can be kids in China watching this clip, right? Don't even know what I'm saying. Yes. But now, but th even but it that, has to be quality. Yeah, it has to be quality. We must understand that even the internet is not is not free, you know. If 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 you boost, because when you boost, post. For, for, yeah, post for promo, you can select countries and oh, say, word. yeah, it gives you option of countries. You can say U.S., U.K., China, you know, even even the cities. You can select. It gives you countries. It gives you cities. You can say Johannesburg, Durban, Cape Town, New York, L.A., mm. you know. So. Like placing yourself to where you are likely to blow up, you know, it, that, that needs money. You know, mm. that's, that promo needs money. And I don't think a, a lot of artists do that. They rely on, on uh, uh, TikTok challenges. I think challenges work wonders for, for, for Ama Piano because there's, there's, there's dance moves. Yeah, Every song movement. comes with a dance move. Mm. You can't do that with hip-hop. You'll have to find a different challenge. Yeah. Yeah. What I've been, just off the bat of what you're saying, Yeah. what I've been noticing, though, is that there is a big increase in TikTok rappers. Like, niggas dropping one verse on TikTok, and then, like, and, oh, oh. they're bigger than guys who've been oh. dropping projects for days. Yeah. And that open verse challenge. Yeah, that's also, mm. a, I think, something you can do. Yeah, but what I'm trying to what I'm trying to say is 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 are we seeing then a new wave in getting exposure to the international market? Is that now you can't be a rapper and and not have verses on TikTok? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Because doesn't like, make sense just to go yo go pop my album. Yeah, because the 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 promo situation and marketing is always uh, evolving. You know, you must always find new ways to get into these spaces. You see, then mm. that's why it's a hip hop is not cracking it internationally. It's because I also feel like, like, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to light a fire up, niggas, and admit to the fact that we're lazy. Like, we're lazy to put in the work, my dog. Like, like you're saying, these days, you, they're not going to pick you up just off mm. a Facebook post. You have to post Facebook, then still boost it, yeah. you know, then try and move it around in the certain spaces that you want it to go to, I and think, then I it think might go viral. niggas are not lazy. I think niggas are comfortable, you know. Aries, okay. Aries and Jay Jodie have been putting a lot of work. Yeah, last but, year and this year. Yeah. yeah, last year and this year. But are they are they pushing that enough or are they, they comfortable with the slimes? Are they are they boosting and promo the, the, the all the stuff that they take out? Or are they, they just cool, they cool that, with the, with Yeah, the... I just hit one million streams in a day or one million views and, and then that's it. Shit, that's that's well laziness versus uh, comfortability is, is a thing then. Yeah. Because for me, it, like you saying, it's comfortability, but I feel like it's just, I think it's almost the same thing, man. It's like, uh, I'm cool driving a Taz and living in my four room, mm. whereas I actually could be living in Stain City driving. And and I believe cars. I believe that people like Aries can can still do more and reach like the whole world, you know. I know that he's got he's got the slimes, you know. Yeah. He can post a dot and get a million likes, <laughs> you know. But then why does he? Why, then why is it not working, dog? I'm saying I'm saying he should he shouldn't be comfortable with that. He need, he needs to reach beyond, you know. Okay. South Africa and beyond. There's the 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 world is huge. He can do wonders and become bigger. So essentially, your 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 little rhymes and your little cult following. Is not enough, dog. It's not enough. Like, we need niggas to almost start afresh. I think it's it's, it's the same. It's the same with with S South Africa. South Africa is as as a great country, you know, in every department. That's why that's why um, Bafana Bafana went to Afcon with Sundowns players, 
You know, mm. it was South, South Africa has the mo- had had mm. the most local players. You know why? Because they are paid well. Because yeah, money. Yeah, they PSL's don't. They, they're, not, they're not worried about going to play for Liverpool or they are paid well at Sundowns, mm. Chiefs, Pirates. You know, they 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 get comfortable. So mm. it's, that's the same thing with the artists. Most artists are comfortable. They're not trying to spread their wings all over the world. Oh man, that's wild, yo. That's wild. So how do we fix that? What's the solution now? We've complained about the labels. We've complained about marketing. We've complained about comfortability and laziness. Where where do we find the solution now so that we can crack the market? I'm saying, um, like, um, we already mentioned some of the solutions, you know, like um, networking, uh, international artist management agencies, yeah, yeah. get into those spaces you know yeah. get into those spaces do you do you know of any like local agencies that actually do do that for artists hip hop artists where you can like sign up you know if there's a student listening is like yo i'm actually looking to expand my shit where can they go um i'm not sure about that i only know that that deal with with um agencies that deal with with local stuff yeah 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 but i think the the ones that are dealing with international tours and are not based here. So you have to go out. That's why that's why Black Coffee is a manager here and a manager over there. Facts. You know, it's not the manager in South Africa that gets international gigs. Mm, yeah. And now for us we all trying to get um what's homie's name, man? The fifth season homie. I forgot his name. Benza. Yeah, to, to to get me gigs internationally. Yeah. And also locally. I need to somehow find a way, or even if you are sad, you, you yeah. go to a Benza, like because people like Benza have connections overseas. Yeah, they have connections, but it's uh, I think it's it's best when you get a manager based in Europe, who knows these promoters and uh, organizers, and yeah. you know, like who are already connected, not not a person who's gonna introduce. I'm sorry, hey, I'm Rashid K from South Africa. I manage this artist. I was wondering if it's possible. Yeah, you know. It's <laughs> <laughs> Hope this email finds you well. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that <laughs> shit. You nigga, know what I mean? So, sees headline, sees your subject, like, psh, delete, mm. not even open that shit. You know what I mean? So it's better, it's better. Like, this industry is about connections. Fuck. You know, if, if, if somebody in Europe who's connected picks up the phone and say, yo, I have this artist what are your available dates yeah yeah, you know, yeah. you're not bagging you can't be yeah when you do they're not gonna take you, you, you they should I mean? be begging you literally yeah i saw some other crazy shit um i don't know if it's still like this but i saw this a few years ago is that um hip-hop around the world i think the u.s obviously number one yeah and then number two was was french was france like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and i've never in my life never sat down and bummed french hip-hop yeah, yeah. I don't know if you have. I have, I have, but it was a while ago. MC Solar um, was was a, one of the most famous French rappers. Word. Yeah. Um, oh, you know, uh, he, he, I did, know, he did a lot. I, I discovered him because he did a lot of um, American collaboration. She, he has a song with, with Miss Why You All In My Grill. Mm-hmm. The, the guy of who comes in French with a, yeah. That was the biggest artist from France, but uh, because of the language barrier, I couldn't like make a follow up yeah. to, to say who's who's dope, who's hot. You know, you see like we do with drill because we understand English. That's why that's why drill is 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 bigger than French hip hop here. Yes, yes. Yeah, I think. But all, but all over the world, it's French huge. French hip hop is bigger than than, than UK. Drill. Yeah, yeah than, than UK, UK hip hop. Yeah, and like SA is not even in the picture. Yeah, you know, there's even the Jap- Japanese hip hop is yeah. better than our in terms of global and international. Yeah. Why do you think that is though? Like because if they can do that, then why can't we do that with with SA hip hop? Where the French French people, the niggas, the the French hip hop rappers, I don't think they give a fuck about what's going on in the states. No, they don't. Um, we must understand that those are first world countries. We are a third world country. You know, it's a uh, you know we have Joburg, Word. where where shit is happening, in the states or UK or France. You have the co- whole country being like Joburg, where you can pop from where. Yeah. So, like in terms of 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 development and infrastructure and everything, 
here you you can still go to as Lalino, you can still go to the Bundus and you're out of network. <laughs> and then you can't do you can't, can't do shit. shit. <laughs> you can't do shit. Which is wild. And there are people and, and, and there are people who are who live that life every day. Every day, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And they don't care. That time they are mad talents. Yeah. They mad talents. Just we'll never hear them because yeah. we don't so, know. So so okay, I hear that. Like those are the disadvantages of the third world countries. You Fuck. know. But as far as um third world countries level is concerned, South Africa is one of the best there. Then 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 also then it just means because of those restrictions you spoke about like network and internet and just infrastructure, we will we will struggle until South Africa then becomes a first world country. I don't know if then if we're gonna if SA hip hop will crack an international market. Not even a first world country. If if it gets developed it like in all areas, if if you have um electricity twenty four seven, you have um network every part of the country mm. you have and decent network yeah you have yeah decent network you have cheap and free free, free internet internet mm. and then we, we're good i think we just came up with the solution as how sa hip-hop's gonna crack it <laughs> and you know, it has but, nothing but, to do with, with but, the music but we, have, we don't have to wait until then because other other genres are popping Ooh. what is it that we're not doing Ooh. Yeah. Hey, hey, that hurts a little bit. That that hit me a bit hard. Yeah. Shit. What do you mean, though? Because <laughs> we've been squealing like this, now. Yeah. But but you're right. There are other like artists who are Grammy nominated and like Tyler's all over the world. Yeah. <laughs> you know. We have we have. We have then what the, the fuck is wrong with us? We have we have the most Grammys in Africa. South Africa has the most Grammys than any other country in Africa. Word. You know. But there's no hip hop Grammy. There's nothing for hip hop. There's right? no hip hop Grammy, you know. Even even with the with the BETs, mm. we we celebrated Shoma Josie and Java. Mm, but deep down, we know that those albums are not hip hop, and they don't they didn't win them for hip hop. Yeah, you know, they don't represent the 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 the, yeah. the hip hop artists. Yeah, on the we, we we claim them because they're part of the culture. We love them, but we we yet to. Win an international award as as as, as a hip hop. Yo, we have a long way to go, my nigga. We have a long way to go. Like, I, like I think it's it's so sad because it's not even left to the music anymore. Yeah, you know, if we're only gonna have one or two people blow up and it's not hip hop, mm. then I don't think because like we we're saying, a Tyler blows up because of the team she has. Yeah, and and it it, it was it was not generic. It was it was marketed and promoted pushed. and pushed and it was shoved down our you know billboards we loved it. billboards in Times Square in New York you know performed at the fashion show in New York mm. you know she was in your face. Who do you think, ne? Um, just to just to just to segue, who do you think in South Africa from from let's talk let's talk from before. 2014 into 2014 when the golden era of hip hop who do you think from that era should have gotten to the grammy level to the to the to should have brought us all into the international market but just got comfortable playing for sundowns it, it, it was it, i think it, it was i say hip hop was still very young still I, is. It, it, no, no I'm, I'm saying before 20 2014 yeah, yeah, yeah. you know Double HP had a good run. He Fats. could have he could have represented SA hip hop very well. Tia Guess could have represented SA hip hop very well on the international market. Mm. We had we had a lot of artists that were authentically South African, you know, with the sound, with the language, with the delivery and everything. Mm. You, you know what I mean? Before before we we cloned a lot of American sound and accents, like there was a lot of original south african hip-hop pro pro you, you know what i mean peach black afro yeah, yeah yeah you know we had we had a lot of that you know so and then i think comfortability we we we, we, we 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 got into around 2013 2014 south africa became digital you know so we were we're right on par with Americans in terms of what's happening. And what we're doing. Yeah, we, now we don't music. have 
yeah, with music, we have the we had the internet and whatnot. You didn't have to wait for three months to get a CD. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Or yeah. feature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you know what I mean. So, and South African hip hop started sounding more American, you know, because you we had trap, we had this and that, getting the beats from the states. Oh, this is what's popping. Let's also do it. Oh, Drake is rap singing. Let's rap sing. Mm. You, you know, so it was like we were like the third grade of what was happening in America. You know, I think then that, that also comes to another solution then on mm-hmm. how to crack the international market is that maybe we're losing our authenticity in our music. We 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 do even. I think we can we can we ignore our South Africanness. You know, I'm a piano. They do. They 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 like dance. They they, they they pull South African moves. Fucked up. You know, we haven't had anything since the dab, which came from America. <laughs> we were, so we're waiting for America to come with a new what dance. a new fucking move. Dog. Yeah, we're waiting for America to 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 popularize a new dance, and then we follow. Yeah, and the, then the, the dab was big. The, the dab was big because we, it was love, happy. we saw it on TV. We saw it on TV happening in America. We can't integrate our own shit to this hip hop. That's crazy, man. And when you look at the piano dudes, everything mm. they do from lyrics to sound to the dancing, South African, and that's why it's cracked. Original, authentic. Fuck niggas. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Because <laughs> because my thing is right. Yeah. My thing is. Um, we've taken this this culture, right, and we have, we've adopted it. Now, how do we how do we make it authentically South African, but still hold on to the fact that it's hip hop? You know what I mean? That's why I feel like, I feel like Quieto is big and I'm a piano is big is because that's like like it's not even taken from anything else. It's originally South African. Because it Which, was it was sorry, it was sorry to cut you. Yeah. Like a nigga like Double HP. Mm-hmm. I was actually bumping his stuff not so long ago, and I realized that. From from his sound to the way he rapped, even mm-hmm. if it was English, mm-hmm. it still felt South African. Yeah, but I don't get that much nowadays. Yeah, you know what I mean. Now I'm hearing like, oh, this guy sounds like Zban Ban. Oh, these yeah. kids sound like this. Kid. That's why that, oh, this that, kid that's why like that and, and another mentality we need to lose as South African. Uh, they expect if you rap in English, they expect your accent to be American. Yes. You know, yeah. but that's not how we speak. That is not. Why would I speak like that? And then when I rap, I'm like, hang, 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 hang. <laughs> yeah, hong, 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 hong. And you know, it's funny based on what you're saying. Yeah. I used to be. I, I'm, a, I'm a, what's the word? Not victim, but I'm, I'm, I'm part of the problem. You're guilty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm part of the problem because mm. I remember when, 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 youngster CPT came out. Mm. I hated the way he sounded, dog. Yeah. And I was just like, nah, man, this. You know, but now mm. I just think like everyone who raps and is from Cape Town should sound like Youngster CP. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's originally authentic. But but I was a nigga who mm. would would be like, nah, I don't want to listen to that nigga. He sounds too South African. Even even remember Pro Kid when he rapped in English, he was like, you could tell that this guy's from South Africa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we didn't like that shit. I'm from the southwestern township where we get down shit. <laughs> when you act like a clown, kid, you know it was it was nothing like New York or Atlanta. You know that shows you that. But we didn't like and, it and, like that. Yeah, and another guy who didn't have an accent is AKA. Yeah, he didn't have the American accent. Yeah, it was originally like. Yeah, like with South, straight up South African English. You can and, tell wherever he is in the world if he had to speak yeah. or rap. You'd be like, that nigga's from South. That's that, that's one thing they get wrong. That we want to sound, yeah, because they listen like oh, this guy is not sounding <laughs> like like Drake, yeah, or, so he's or not future, good. yeah, so he's not, so he's good. not good, he's not good. But then you spend some time with him and you realize that maybe you know, if we all just sounded the way we actually are, we might go somewhere. Look at Nigerians, fucking huge, no bro. fake American accent. If anything, the Americans like that um, the Nigerian accent. Tina, that's what we made, want to sound like them. That's what made them. That's what what made Jamaicans pop with reggae and dancehall and raga. They stuck to it, their language. Yo, in in Jamaica, they frown upon you if you if you if you sound American. <laughs> <laughs> Why you come out of foreign? <laughs> 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 but Tina, we fucking clap hands. Tina, Tina, like, we do the opposite. Did you hear that nigga spit? 
Yeah, you like, sound you sound Af- South African. You work. You sound American. Ah, yo, nice. This nigga got it. You know, got we it. we got it. We got it twisted there. But that's the thing, like, um, mm. because that's what we look for. But then when you have a youngster CPT or a, or a AKA, somehow the South African ear automatically falls in love with that. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but you train, it's not you what train you look the for. Ear. No, you train the ear. Mm-hmm. You train the ear. You know, until you get used to it. Until you get used to it, you know. When 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 you are listening to rapid rap, mm. when when you, when you heard Drake for the first time, it wasn't love at, at first. Here, no, I didn't even think he'd be that big. Yeah, yeah. no, like, people were even, like, oh, what, what, he wasn't even the nicest in that young man squad. Yeah, so it was like, what's this guy? Why is this guy singing? You know, mm, like singing and, rap shit. But you train the ear, you get used to it. And now it's like okay, now, now fuck like with okay, it. we get you. All right, so also so then, we need we need to do our stuff and train the people to say this is South African hip hop. Your ear must get used to it. So speaking about that, right? Um, mm-hmm. I want to touch on the Quellas. Yeah, I like speaking about them because I do I do feel like these guys have the ability to put as a hip hop. On a global map, right? Yeah. My only issue is that, yes, they rap in in Vernac. Yeah. But their sound and their style also comes from the cadence. Uh, and, yeah, from mm, America. Yeah. There's a bit of black in there as well, you mm. know. So it's like, okay, is that enough? Is that gonna work? Obviously, music alone won't work. That that's why I was saying. If their manager is not focusing on Bram alone, you know, mm. so it's about the moves. It's about the moves you make with your music. You can you can be the dopest artist ever, but if you're not making moves, you're not gonna go anywhere. All right, market yourself better. Management as well, man. Take your artists seriously. You guys are also just there for checks and for fucking views. Yeah, and like to be cool with whoever's heart. I don't like that shit, dog. Like, uh. Sometimes it's okay for 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 managers to be able to direct the artist a little bit. Yeah. You know? Don't just be the guy booking and doing this and doing that and and being happy with the check you get mm. from the niggas. Like, let's help these guys. Let's train the ear. That's why that's why um one one problem, part of the problem is that we don't have artist development. We don't. Yeah. We don't have artist development, management. Yeah, we're like, oh, okay, he can sing, he can rap. Quah. Throw him to the deep end without, <laughs> without developing the artist. Yeah, or a nigga yeah. gets like one good song and then it's like, okay. Yeah. It's actually pro- probably part of the reason why we have so many one-hit wonders in, yeah. in our country is that once a nigga blows up and it's so easy and you make so much money off one song in this yeah. country that you forget that, okay, I still have to keep doing this shit so that I can be bigger than this, so I can move out the hood. Yeah. And move into America or move, in, move into China, Japan, wherever, you know, France. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I think mindset needs to change from the consumer's perspective because mm-hmm. we are the ones that can make these niggas, all these niggas blow up. Yeah. But if we don't fuck with it, niggas are going to keep going to studio every day and just putting out music that nobody gives a shit about. Yeah. So now it's in jail. Like, let's, let's also, let's also, I hate saying let's support local, let's support local, but let's listen to our shit. Yeah, you know, let's 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 when it, when it's music Fridays and everyone's dropping, let's start with the South African albums before you go listen to Blue Lips. Yeah, or before you go. Yes, I get that. I get that it might not be as good, but it's it's not gonna get any better if you're not listening to it. Yeah, is what I'm saying. You know, so the more people listen and the more we train ourselves to go back to that authentic feel and authentic sound, that's one way we're gonna crack this international market. It's on us as people who buy the music. You know, the artists think, can only do so much. I think that's it, man. We let's wrap it up right there. Yeah, it's on you, my nigga. It's on you, my nigga. Stop dropping trash music on top of that. <laughs> yeah. Um. Let's go to free the period. free period. It's time for some free period. Shit, who we got today? We got we got Linda Kim. Hey. Rappers, Linda Kim. You know, hey, I actually I actually had uh, I had the kids next door in studio on Thursday. Yeah. Really cool. I didn't even know that um, that they've done so many songs with, with like so many different artists and yeah. so many famous And even even on the um, on the Beast Rent tape volume three, 
Kids they are next, yeah, there. Kids Next Door, they have a song with, with Linda Kim. I saw it, like track four or some shit. Uh, track two. Track two, yeah, 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 I saw that. I know boys are talented, and Linda is, is, is I think, one, one of, of the, the female main... rappers that are making moves right now. Yeah, you know? she's, she, but she's trying so hard, dog. And yeah. that's, that's, here's the thing with Linda, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody's seen her now. Yeah. We've seen her on Twitter. We've, she's dropped music. She's come out saying that she's quitting this rap thing. Yeah. People were like, no, don't leave, don't leave. But you're still not buying her shit. Yeah. So, so what must she do now? She must keep pushing, man. That hit song is going to come. <laughs> After how long, she... I get, I get Linda's, Linda's gripe in terms of, yo, this shit is like, yo, come on now. Mm-hmm. How long must I do this for, guys? There's, there's, there's chicks who come into the game like a boity while Linda's been doing this shit. And they have like hit singles. <laughs> music alone is not enough what else is she doing like but she's doing it that's what i'm saying she's on twitter she's on like she's dropping a but verse i'm saying everyone can shit. be on twitter but what do you what do you do to make sure that people notice you we're talking about promo and marketing and these other extra things yeah you know you can't do what everybody does yeah and also like and also, and, and, and hope to stand out yeah and also getting naked on social media is not gonna help anymore man niggas don't care like, you can be fly and show ass and titties. Yeah. But if the bars aren't there, we're just like, ah, who's look, look at Faith. Yeah. You know, no one cares how dope she is rap-wise because, you know, and she's she's got the body, she's got the look. I think Linda's the same way. Yeah. But I don't know what she needs to do to crack it because I, yeah. I like her shit. I play yeah, her she's got the music. She's got the music. A lot of it, that, too. That, 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 the, the, the. With most female rappers, that the ass, the the ass shaking and the twerking, won't make Ice Spice dope. Facts. Well, I guess to some people, to some. No, I'm saying <laughs> musically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we all know. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, nah. The bar for bar, like when you sit down, you actually listen to what she's yeah. saying. She ain't saying shit. You know what I mean? But then you so, get a Linda, right? Yeah. When you listen to Linda's music, she's actually like she's spitting. Saying though. shit. She's, saying she's telling shit. stories. You know what I mean? She's yeah. sharing experiences. But we don't want to hear that. We want her to shake her ass mm-hmm. and shit like that. And then we'll buy it. Shout out to Linda Kim. <laughs> keep on keeping on. Yeah, man. Keep pushing, Linda. Hopefully something will happen. <laughs> Producers? Uh, Sam Soko. Ah, shout out to Sam. Yo, Sam, been, Sam doing Soko, been doing been it. Been doing it. Been doing it. Um, and he was hel- holding it down at um, the Masterclass, linking friends with bars, 10K. Ah, Mr. How was she? How was he? Ah, he was, he was, he was on point. He was on point. Most of the freestyles um, that were happening there, it, it, it was over his beats. Oh, nice. Yeah, and nice. he's done some couple of the masterclass intros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah, yeah. yeah, he's he's really nice with it. Check out his work, man. Where's he from? Um, Soweto. Soweto. Mm. So trap boy. Shout out to Sam him. Soko. Sam Soko. We, we see, see you, you boy. King. We see you, our hundred and fifteenth producer. <laughs> Please yeah. stop saying there aren't enough producers in this country. We've just given you a... Go to the Masterclass channel. Yeah. Every single episode, we speak about a new producer. So, please, guys, don't tell me that crap that now nah, producers in South Africa... Uh, we have a we lot. We don't have enough. Imagine nah, 115 hip-hop producers. Only. But yeah. now, nah, like, come out your Charlotte bit, guys. I know it's a producer thing to be like, oh, no, I just want to be in the background doing nothing. Nah, nigga. Come outside now. Let us see who you are. Yeah. Be like, well, her cut the lights and all these cats who are actually like outside, dog. We know about them probably more than some of the artists that they've worked with. Mm. You know? So I'd, I'd really love to see a nigga like Sam come outside, outside. So we can know that. Not just the name, but we know the face as well. And that's to all producers. Let's go to the review. Let's review some shit. Caesar. Caesar. Big Star Johnson. Shout out, Big Star. <laughs> Finally, some work, man. Big Star was too quiet for me for a while another one from the beast rand yeah he this is like a comeback yeah uh caesar i, I like it i like I, it I was, man I, I, I was actually lucky enough to listen to it maybe two three months mm-hmm. ago last year actually was yeah. last year yeah yeah i bumped the album last year first time mm-hmm. um homie homie played me sent me a few songs and like this is the big star that the big star wants to be yeah you know what i mean Everything uh, yeah, else he was, dropped. Yeah, he was be, being himself. I like yeah. the artwork as well of him and his dad. And time, yeah. yeah. And yeah. you have on track two, the, the track called Humuto, where 
um the dad does the intro i don't know if it was a phone call yeah 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 i think it was a call yeah it was a call is the is, is his dad in jail i don't think his dad's in jail yeah i don't think his dad's in jail oh he's out but there's know. a story about that but yeah anyway the album man is dope the the it's conceptualized nicely it's a really good album yo it's a really like good musically album, man. And, and why I really enjoyed it was because it was the first time I actually heard the real Big Star. Not yeah. Big Star Johnson that won the hustle. Yeah. Look at my wrist. <laughs> Look at my neck. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not that yeah. one. Yeah. No. Yeah. This was, you know, and yes, we liked that shit. With mm-hmm. that, well, that was cool. Mm. But it's so cool to see a man mature in music. Yeah, it's shown some growth. It's shown yeah, some growth. Like it's, it's crazy, man. Like, I... I, I I also feel like this is one of the albums that might fall on deaf ears because it's so personal. Yeah, yeah. Um, and because it's not like it might get slept my on. Wrist. Yeah, it it might get slept on. Mm. Probably will if we if we don't talk about it. You know what I mean? That's why we're talking about it, <laughs> letting people know that yo, this album is hard. Y'all niggas are honest. Mm. Yeah, you listen to that shit. You see. <laughs> you, see, you know what I mean? Bomb, All bro. these niggas in the room haven't listened to this album. That, but that's too sad. If you're watching the masterclass right now, go Cup Caesar by Big Star Johnson. Mm. Uh, 13 tracks, beautiful album. It's like it's like 80, uh, 80. It's like just under an hour. Yeah. That's okay. uh, let me 49 minutes. Yeah, yeah. It's an easy listen, my dog. Yeah. And it's fucking like lyrically very good. Yeah. Production very good. You know what I mean? Um, is it his debut? No, uh, no, I don't think so. I think it is. He hasn't dropped. He, he, he dropped singles, but I think as a project, project an EP. No, he has. He has uh, me and mines. That was the debut. Yeah, he had, which he, which is different. Twenty eighteen, he had uh, me and mines. Ah uh, no, this is a good. This is a good second second album then. If uh, that's the case. not even second. Twenty seventeen, he had telescope. Is that an EP though? Telescope wasn't it EP? Uh, seven songs. Yes. Yeah. It wasn't wasn't an album album. Yeah. Now this one is really good, guys. I suggest, please, students, go bump that shit. Just listen to how the man. Actually, you know what you should do? Bump some of his old hits, like songs that actually moved. Yeah. And then go listen to this album. Yeah. Then you'll hear the real Big Star Johnson. He shares so many stories on this album, my dog. It's like yeah, no, he was he like, poured himself out. Yeah. And it's truthful. And it's rating, nice. rating. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. I'm giving it a nine out of ten too. All right, simple. Go bump Caesar. Shout out Big Star Johnson. Um, uh, just Big Star Live, I guess, or just Big Star. I don't know if it still goes with the Big Johnson. Star Johnson. Big Star. It says it says Big Star Johnson. <laughs> okay, clean. Yeah. Nice one, doggy. Uh, nine out of ten from us in the masterclass. Um, yes, it's it's one of those albums I would if you're going on a long trip, put it on your playlist. You're gonna enjoy it. Beast Rand. Let's get out of here. Peace.